Hello everyone, welcome back to more Tales of Arise. We're in space! We're in a big, ridiculously giant space station. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Zephyr ever imagined what was going to happen when he started his little rebellion. What's going on? Lanagus. I wonder if the transformation did this to the city. What in the world? This being Renan territory, I was prepared for a lot of things to look different. But this? This is a bit more than I anticipated. The very foundations of the city have shifted. What could have caused this? When Lenigus changed shape, it must have yeah, affected mean, the interior <laughs> too. Dohalim, you dropped the ball on that one, buddy. Wedge down to Dana. But they wouldn't move around the places where people live. These are their homes, right? I would think the citizens themselves didn't have much say in the matter. Either way, locating the Forbidden Zone just became that much trickier. Dolhalim? Is that you? Hey, buddy. Who are you? Who are you? Avakir. I'm glad to see you're well. So it is you! But why are you here? Shouldn't you be down on Dana participating in the crown contest? And these people! So you haven't heard what happened on Dana, then? Heard what? Someone you know? An old friend. Hey, Dohalim, don't tell me you've started keeping company with- They're with me. More importantly, what's happened here? Uh, I'm really not sure. The city's foundations began to shift without warning, and now everything looks like this. We're all waiting for the Sovereign to tell us what's happening, but so far... Avakir, listen to me. We're looking for the Forbidden Zone. Do you have any so idea there, where we might is find Is there currently it? a Sovereign? Or... What business could or is he just going to be like, we're going to wait two or three years for the Sovereign Let's Contest to finish? Better. You're just the same as ever. <laughs> I wish I could help, but what with the changed topography, I can barely locate my own home. Let alone the Forbidden Zone. Very well. It looks like we'll have to find the way there ourselves. Have you seen Faria yet? Ooh. No. I see. Well, nothing much has changed with her. If anything, she's probably even more... I can well imagine. Why did you come back? You know it can only result in pain for you both. I've no doubt of that. You really are the same as ever. Fine, I understand. Just don't say I didn't warn you. And take care of yourself. Okay, Doe? Mm -hmm. He's only mildly racist. So who's Faria? La! <sighs> if what Avakir said is true, it would seem the people of Lenegus are being kept in the dark about what's happening down on Dana. They seem to They're be just kept in the dark about yeah. what's going on up here say, in the yeah. world. Despite the fact that it's actually here that the Wedge originally came from. We need more information. Let's talk to the citizens, see what we can find out. I like the new music well, that they got in this We though. can ask them about the Red Woman, too. And don't forget about finding the way to the Forbidden Zone, either. Let's leave the talking to Shion. We can't have a or bunch Dohalim. of humans poking their noses around. Good idea. I think that's for the best. I shall assist. You sure? Being a lord on Lenigus has its advantages. Right. Then we'll leave it to you two. 
I'm in a change of clothes and no one could tell the difference Dan between any of us. should probably keep our heads down. What if people freak out? I shall explain it away by saying I'm leading you. What are we, dogs? No, oh, that was unnecessary. What could be so important? It's worth destroying people's livelihoods and homes in the process. It's just... unbelievable. Uprooting an entire city as if it were mere building blocks. Someone's got an awful like aside from when they use magic, um, there's nothing to separate. They must be siphoning off energy from Adana apart from Rena. Sending it to Rena. But why do all this? What for? Surely they can't be using all that energy for the crown contest. Whatever their purpose, disrupting their siphoning process alone won't be sufficient. Not while we still don't know what their end game is. He's right. We need to stop this from happening ever again. This Forbidden Zone might be where we find some answers, right? So what are we waiting for? Let's get moving! You heard him. We don't have time to stop and chat. Let's move. So, I've been wondering... Do you think when Lenicus was built, it was even made with people living here in mind? It's not a bad thought, Ooh. actually. Well, none of this happened by coincidence, right? Yeah. They must have designed it to transform like this. But then, if they knew people were going to live here, you'd think they would have taken that into consideration, to avoid all this chaos. Ordinarily, yes. You'd think so. Trust me, as far as we were concerned, Lenigus was our home, nothing more. No one knew about all this. It makes you wonder whether the city was just built on as an afterthought. But if so, to what exactly? Yeah. Sorry. After that disaster 300 years weird, ago, huh? there might have been some... <laughs> Things Not at all. lost to the general Sometimes public. Sometimes it takes an outsider's eye to help you notice what you've been missing all along. This place is a mystery, that's for sure. Something tells me we'll find answers where we're going, though. Yeah, you're right, Xion. I'm sure we will. Hey, buddy. Some healing. Hello there, sir. Oh dear me. What an unspeakable mess this has all become. Just look at the state of our city. Even the Zoogles have stopped heeding our commands. Hmm. Whatever did we do to deserve this? You hmm. really have no clue what might have caused this? Maybe the 300 years of oppression? Would that I have. Alas, there was no warning, no prior decree. His Highness must have deemed it unnecessary for us to know. We have no choice but to grin and bear it. But do my eyes deceive me? Could I really be standing in the presence of his lordship, Dohalim of the House Ilkaris? I believed he was on Dana. Yeah, I told him just be saying, you know, I won the contest. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is I, one and the same. I have returned to fulfill a special duty, the details of which I cannot divulge. As your lordship wishes, first Lanagus mutates beyond recognition, now this unexpected visit, the Sovereign's plans are inscrutable indeed. The Ilkaris House has produced a great many lords over the centuries, I shall be praying for your victory in the latest crown contest. Your good wishes do me an honor. All right. Strawberries. Well, at least. At least in space, we still have strawberries. Which is nice. Nothing mm -hmm. for your kids. It's just everything going insane. Where's that dang sovereign when you need him? Oh, 
was doing a bit of healing. Never seen such potent healing arts! Ooh, fancy parfait recipe. Everything will be okay now. I know the basics of healing arts, but my skills pale in comparison. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Your Do you know about the Forbidden oh, Zone? What a honor it is to finally meet you. I descended to Dana during the last crown contest also. Alas, when the contender I was backing failed to clinch the title, I returned. I witnessed the deaths of so many slaves. I killed Indeed. so many people to try and win to it. Interrupt, but we're looking for a woman dressed all in red. It's just a weird thing Have for him to bring up. One of that description? All red, eh? No, I can't say I remember anyone like that. I imagine she'd stand out somewhat, too. Much like you with your 300-year-old yeah. outfit you're wearing. What about down on Dana during the crown contest? You didn't see anyone like that hanging around the Lord you were serving? What's with all these questions? I've never seen her, okay? Not recently or otherwise. Why do you want to find her anyway? You suddenly got very defensive. Never mind. Forget I asked. Hmm. Sorry to take up your time. I wonder if it's existing kind of in his subconscious. So there is a sovereign right now. Okay, so we do know that at least. Turn it back, they pulled for the horizon. Okay. There's a sovereign. It may be uh what's his name? The water sword guy. Balron? Might be someone different. I'm not sure. I mean, Volron being a sovereign seemed to surprise everybody, so I'm not hmm, not sure there. Is everything okay? You look a little lost. Hmm? Or concussed. Oh, yes. I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new route. I was hoping to head this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? I suppose the Sovereign knows best. I daren't stay here too long, though. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe... Do you think their outfits dictate... After all. Like, uh, is there like a marking on their you outfits? You know another way round? Lord Dohali Nilkaris! But how? I mean, again, I heard, unless they're actually casting their spells, there'd be the no way to contest. Yes, strange, identify it? it. If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you could tell us. Unless they can all naturally but, but sense course, that sort of thing. Please forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here, with what looks to be an entrance in it. I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing hmm. for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord troubling himself for someone of my So not only are they horrible slavers, they have a caste system. Our lot in life is of little consequence. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Just in case they weren't evil enough. Why, yes, my lord. Thank you. Well, we've canvassed the city for information. What do you think? No one has the faintest idea what's happened to the city after all. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. Which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth. Yes. That Lenigus is under some kind of control. Given everything that's happened to their city, the people here seem weirdly okay with it all. Yeah. That one guy even said Azugal had stopped listening to him. If that's true, these people are in big trouble. Everything that happens here is attributed to the Sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Their belief runs deep. Nothing happens devoid of a reason. To them, it's all part of the Sovereign's grand plan. The Sovereign's plan. There is one thing... Alvin, how could sure you do about. this? 
Just who is this person ruling over Lenegus? The Sovereign, of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena and Lenegus. Without the Lords or anyone in the middle doing his dirty work? Isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought Also, you should know who the Sovereign is. The you know who you, you know who takes part of the contest. You know who would win and lose. Before. Here, the sovereign's total authority is as natural as night turning to day. Come to think of it, I know nothing of the nature of how Rena itself is. <sighs> Shion, have you ever been? <laughs> no, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with, or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the? Yeah, homeland? that's a good question. That's no, something I've been wondering I about haven't. that for a while. Neither have I. In which case, I would imagine that... <clears throat> but no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenicus has ever been there? Hold up, what are you getting at, Dohalim? Assuming what I believe to be correct, it's possible that no one on Lenicus yeah. has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. That seems to no be the case. The no one's... Is. But what about trade and communication? There's got to be a flow back and forth, surely. Uh, Not if know. the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenigus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. If that's the case, can he really rule directly over Lenigus from so far away? What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this Sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. I'm still curious about Sovereign again. Also, the title given to the Almighty Renan ruler. So, which one is it? Whoever wins the crown contest inherits the throne from his or her predecessor, before becoming ruler over all of Rena and Lenigus. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, it would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. You should know. People should know who it was. All this. At this point. I no longer know what to believe. Yeah. Three centuries ago, I became the sovereign here on Lenigus. No, oh, not just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. Three hundred years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the sovereign's crest. That's not the only thing we have in common. We both became sovereign without winning the crown contest. Do you think Volron okay. was made sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't so there's say a for sure. third sovereign at play, like maybe? It. But that would mean that two sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. We never did see Volron's body back in Ganeth Heros. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. The same one that the Red Woman stole. There's something else the ceremony needs. A maiden. I mean, there could be. Unless we have another one no idea what's going me. on. Questions, questions, and yet more questions. I feel like... Ones that it seems will remain unanswered. I feel like they... The whole bring up a third identity. sovereign thing was something they if just the kind of overlooked. It really is off limits to everyone but the sovereign. That seems as good a place as any to start. For the sake of liberating Dana, because it like that other guy was like, decided. I went down to the That's guy I was backing, he failed to win, the and then the I came back. That you thought might lead to another section of the city. It could point so us in the right they, direction. yeah, people would be able to figure out who it. of the lords of Lenigus became sovereign. I didn't realize Renans oppressed their own kind too. I know we're and just yet, jerks. Weirdly, none of them seem to mind. Am I the only one who finds that strange? It is the way things have always been, so no one thinks to question it. You have experience in that regard yourself, do you not? Unquestioning acceptance of your own servitude. Yeah, that sounds about right. Even so, the quality of life here seems much higher than any Danon city we visited. I used to think it was impossible to build an ideal society without wealth. But I suppose having it doesn't always mean people are treated fairly, either. More to the point, not a single oh, citizen seems to have even heard music. of the Red Woman. What if she's not here? What if it turns out we're looking in the wrong place entirely? It's still too early to say anything for sure. 
For all we know, she might be able to blend in, move around unnoticed. I say we hold off judgment. Yeah, until maybe she puts on a white coat. Avenue. With nobody left to run the show. I mean, their sovereigns up on the Renin homeworld. Maybe. And all their lords were sent to Dana. Yeah, but they're still powerful families, but right? Dohalim was a lord, right? Only current acting lords have power. Renin society is quite strict about such matters. Even if the other lords were still around, I doubt they'd be able to yeah, do Yeah, but you killed the them all. I wonder what they'd think if they were here to see Lenigus now. Balsif, Canabelt, Almadria, and Volron. Now that I think of it, aside from Dohalim, we know next to nothing about the other lords. And yeah, they were mostly, a lot of them were one note villains. Well, yeah, why would we? To us Danans, they were just enemies we needed to overthrow. Nothing more. I know. But seeing Renans in their own city, going about their day to day lives, it gets you thinking. It feels strange to imagine the lords living here too, you mean? Yeah, a little. If you're that curious about them, why not try inquiring with some of the locals? Every lord in their household has their share of supporters here on Lenigus. And luckily for us, the people here are unaware of the events on Dana, which means they should be more inclined. Very to convenient. Contact. Friends, the lords. Okay. You got a conversation. Tell me, Dohalim, has that skill of yours got a name? And what skill would this be, pray tell? You know, when you're talking to people around town, the way they suddenly become putty in your hands. I'm afraid I don't quite follow. I do. It's called friendly intimidation. Ooh. Look imposing and speak in a deep, booming voice, and presto, you'll have people wrapped around your finger in no time. I would never stoop to such scandalous tricks. Any feelings of intimidation are solely in the eye of the beholder. So there is a knack to it! How do you learn it? I thought we just had it explained that a lot curious. of this seems to be Lenigus society. To master? Hmm, let's see. An obsession with being elegant is a must. Oh, and it helps to be old-fashioned. Oh, Kisar, you're just picking on him now. If you I'm on to you. No one can understand. If you've a bone to pick with me, it'd be quicker to just come out and say it. What? They look up to you, that's all. I'm just helping them along. Hey! <laughs> what's got into Alvin and Law all of a sudden? I can barely understand a word they're saying. And what's with the weird poses? Was it something they ate? I hope you're willing to take the blame for this one. I wasn't expecting them to take me so seriously. I'll go and have a word with them. Oh, Kisara. Alright, let's talk to this guy. He can tell us about one of the lords. Hmm? Mm -hmm. oh, there's actually Erwulzi Tildiliz. Lord Balsaf. Erwulzi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can be an aggressive man. He looks after the members of his house. Yes. Sure. Apparently, he cared about his troops. Yes. Apparently, he was actually, you know, a good guy. Had it in him to care about. Someone other than himself? Really? It's possible. A change in position can do much to alter one's perspective. So even he might have had something he wanted to protect. Didn't he fail at being the Lord three times? Alright. I'm, I'm curious to know more. <laughs> mm, yes. Listen. Loud. Most handsome man. His passion and arts is great love. The scores of boars and good men of this land cannot begin to compare to his magnificence. Man, she is just right up there, brown nosing. He's just like, yes, keep going. No, no, no. I, I want to hear this. Hmm. 
It's nothing but his lordship's love for collecting things. <laughs> Alright. I guess she intended to spread it throughout all of Lenegas then. Good thing the lines were down so she couldn't. It almost sounded like she was praising them too. Maybe there was more to the guy than at first glance. I shall refrain from commenting. Alright. You're supporting. Who are you supporting? Hmm. House Valkyris. What? Ganabout. Even cruel man, they're mm -hmm. mistaken. Calling Dana. No expand our horizons. That's on the diamond surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, he really wanted to make the red ends just be really awesome. <laughs> Ganabelt was so horrible to people, yet he was invested in helping Rena succeed. Doesn't that seem just a little inconsistent? I'm perhaps biased in this matter, I admit. However, in my mind, while all lords vie to become the next sovereign, they're also meant to serve as guardians of all of Rena. It seems like Ganabelt also had people he cared about until the very end. So why couldn't he extend that to us Danids? Let's stick our nose into the new area, and then we'll call it. Well, after I move the news around in here. I do. This area doesn't look as badly damaged as that other district we went through. Indeed, the effects of Lenegas's transformation appear to be less pronounced here. Oh, they are definitely or fighting Zoogles. In another way, this area was simply luckier. Pardon me. Lord Elmadria. Reverse for community count contest. Mm. So, for she's our nation's meritocracy. Okay, Madria appeared to be. To stoop to any low came mm. from a survival of the fittest worldview. And some people here not only shared her belief. But championed it as morally right, too. That doesn't make it true. Too bad they couldn't see through her. Yeah. Do I see? Are you saying you don't trust what the servant is doing? Okay, so this guy, like, this guy should know who the previous lord is. I want us to just ask them. Uh, what's his name? Who is it? Who are they? Doing a thing? A team? No more time? Okay. Can I help okay. you? Urbagil Hildris. Ah. Mm. This is part of anyway. So Volron remains a mystery. Seems like the people on Lenegas don't really know much about Volron either. 
I remember being quite surprised when the Lord of Ganeth Haros changed so abruptly. Didn't you have any doubts that something suspicious was going on? On the contrary. Remember, we Renans are raised to accept everything at face value. When you think about it, the families of Renan lords must see them differently than the rest of us. Yeah, despite the brutality they're known for. They must have had a lot on their shoulders, carrying all the weight and responsibilities of Renan society. Renans live in a world where strength and power determine their position in the social hierarchy, so they tend to grow up fiercely competitive. But their loyalty to their people is also strong. It's what brings them together against outside forces, and nothing exemplifies that more than the Lords. That's what makes them the guardians of all of Renna, so to speak. Right. It's the same reason Balsif hated my guts, and Ganabelt went after you, because we're threats to Renna. Guess that makes you an even bigger oddball than we thought. So, Alfin, have you gained anything from all of this? Yeah. I think it's made me realize that the Lords were all people, too. Balsif and the others, they all had their own circumstances to deal with as they went through life. Yeah, but still, just because they had loved ones in their lives doesn't mean... I know. What they did was horrible. I'm not trying to dispute that. But at the same time, they weren't incomprehensible monsters either. They were individuals. They were monsters. Just like the rest of they us. They were just comprehensible so monsters. What I'm trying to say is... You're saying that they weren't bad because they were Renans, or because they were terrible monsters. They... Even if they did terrible things, they were still just people. Terrible people. Renwell. Am I wrong? Not at all. Being a Danon doesn't make you a good person. And being a Renan doesn't make you a bad Right, yeah, we've covered that. I think that's something we've all seen. Shion and Dohle Your race doesn't determine if you're good or bad. And I'm going to keep that's doing my best do. to make sure I earn that trust. As a fellow human being Are they trying to else. whitewash what they did here? Hey guys. Mm -hmm. Treasure hiding over here. There we go. What's this thing? See? There's something I just don't get. Oh, I need to pause it here. What After this it? little conversation, the bit, we'll, we'll call it to an end. itself has always gone ahead as planned, right? In which case, the current sovereign of Rena should be whoever it was right, that won yeah. the previous contest. Yeah, that makes sense. So, who was it then? Hanfreaked Milgroth. Ah, oh, there we go. Lord of Cislodia, if memory serves. So then this Hanfreaked whatchamacallim, he's the current ruler of Renna? The last I heard, yes. Though admittedly, I haven't actually seen him since the end of the previous contest. You're saying that ever since becoming sovereign, he's never actually shown himself on Lenegus? I guess over Holocom, maybe, but not in the flesh. Same thing goes for the Sovereign that came before him. Now that you mention it, I don't recall anyone ever visiting Lenigus from the Motherland, Sovereign or otherwise. And that never struck you as a little bit... odd? <sighs> when you live here, it's as if you're conditioned not to notice all these strange quirks and discrepancies. The question is then, by mm -hmm. whom? Mm -hmm. Like the woman in red! A new Renis Alma is supposedly created to coincide with every crown contest, meaning each victor is awarded their very own. In other words, if that's true, there should be as many of the things out there as there have been contests. Mm -hmm. True, but going on what we witnessed in Pelegion, 
It didn't look like the sort of thing that could be made to order. But if even the victor's speeches have been part of some grand deception, then where are they? Oh, quite frankly, I'm not even sure what to believe anymore. Okay. You and me both. So we did get that we prior rune, and I, I take it back. Neither of us even they did. That such a they thing did as a remember and bring it up. Core existed, remember? With any luck, the Forbidden Zone might give us some answers. No use standing around here chatting about it then. Let's get a move on. Alright. We are getting some more answers, but we are getting some questions. We'll take our break here. Mm -hmm. Continue on shortly. <laughs> 